It's happening again. A big space rock the size of a city block is expected to head our way next hour. But don't worry because there's no danger of it hitting us. The closest it will come to Earth is about 605,000 miles. That's about two and a half times the distance from the Earth to the moon. Theoretical physicist Lawrence Krauss is live from London with us now. He's the author of the book, A Universe from Nothing. So, okay, Lawrence, we know that uh, this meteor exploded over Russia just uh, a month ago, last month, and now we have this, and there was an asteroid last weekend. How common are these, uh, these objects? Is this just sort of a weird time, and should we be concerned about a potential impact? Well, it's not particularly weird. These things happen all the time. We're able to see them better, so we're seeing more of them. Uh, but objects, uh, well, lots of meteors are hitting the Earth every second. About 100 tons worth of material is falling on the Earth every day. Uh, this one meteor that went over Russia was a rare event once every century. The, the asteroid that we're now seeing, I was calculating, I think it's about a million tons. That kind of object impacts on the Earth about once every million years. And uh, therefore, uh, um, you know, I don't think we have to worry about that. And uh, it's, it's neat that we can see them. But in fact, one day, there will be a big object heading towards us. And uh, about every 100 million years, there's an object that, that is large enough, as it once did 65 million years ago, to uh, wipe out the dinosaurs. And uh, uh, the interesting thing is, because we can now see large objects well in advance, we might be able to see it well enough in advance to actually do something about it and, and deflect it before it hits the Earth. Well, I want to ask you about that, but first I want to know that if this object, the size of a city block, a million tons, as you say, were to hit Earth, how much damage are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a huge amount of damage, not enough to destroy uh, civilization or, or wipe out the species. It's a, it, it would be enough to, uh, to uh, cause uh, incredible climate change, and, uh, and it would probably, uh, it's hard to estimate, it would be like many, many, many nuclear weapons so, explosions. So it would be severe damage, and, it, and, and depending upon where it hit, it, if it hit in the ocean, it could cause a tsunami. So it would kill a lot of people, but not sure. wipe out the species. So you said there could be time to divert an asteroid. First off, there's the, I might be concerned because we didn't know about this one. Uh, we found out on Sunday. That's not a lot of lead time. What would you need to do to divert an asteroid? And I'm assuming that you're going to tell me it's not some sort of intervention a la Armageddon that involves Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck. Well, it, it, it doesn't involve Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck, but it's not that different. In fact, the point is, we, it's true, we didn't see this one until Sunday, but this one, even though it would cause a significant amount of devastation, is not large enough to, to be uh, planet-threatening. The ones that are large enough to be planet-threatening, it's like 10 kilometers across or something like that, those we could see a few years in advance, probably. So and then there are various ways, including just sending a rocket ship up and maybe landing on it and running your, your rocket engines just a little bit if you're far enough away from the Earth. You just have to divert it a little bit before it emits the Earth. It's not quite science fiction. And it's important, in fact, that we, we do that. It's important that we have a, a monitoring system that can look at all near-Earth uh, objects. This one is not that mm -hmm. close, not anywhere near as close as the asteroid uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, it's, it's farther away than the moon. It's fascinating stuff, a little scary. Lawrence Krauss, I will tell you, you make me feel a little more secure. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, not of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night.